Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful day here on our rancho in Mexico. So as a lot of you know, I am leaving Mexico. I have a good reason. I am heading back to the United States for a week to visit my family and to catch up on a couple things. One of those things being immunizations. So before all of that, it would be kind of cool to do five days of getting ready with me. So I am leaving in the next five days and there's certain things I have to do and prepare and get ready for. I wanted to take you guys along with me and show you how I get ready to leave Mexico and go back to the United States. I also thought it'd be kind of fun that you guys get to see a little bit more of my everyday life. And I don't know if you can hear in the background, the baby Kikidikis got out, our miniature chickens. Let me show you. Babies, how did you get out? Babies? Oh my goodness, you guys, I must have left their little cage open. Babies, you little stinkers. Come on, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. Come on, come on. Look at how tiny they are, you guys. Are you ready, baby? So, I'm gonna put my shoes on. Before I go pick up the kids, though, I'm gonna take you guys outside because I can't even believe how fast the workers are going. They work so hard every single day. So let me go show you guys. I just had to get my hat on real quick. There's so much sun right now. Ducklings! All right, you guys, so yesterday they delivered this and we had the tractor come move it and then you see they've done all of here and all of here. I wasn't able to walk through this gate before so they've already, oh and look at, they took all the corn down. They cut it this morning. They just come and cut it by hand. So me and my husband, when I get back from Michigan, we're gonna make um, a pasture back here for baby goat. Baby goat's laying down right there. It's funny because she really likes the workers and stuff now. She's like not nervous like she was before. All right, so you can see how far they've come on the fence. And oh my gosh, like down there it's so short. And then right here you can see how long it is. Let me go on the other side. Best this baby. Hi. Hi, baby. All right, you guys, I got in. I'm on the other side. Look at, there's some things growing in the dirt. So you can see how far down they have to go right here compared to up here where they only had to use a few rocks. So this side might take a little more time um, and these sides just because it goes deeper. My also told my husband um, a couple days ago, he's like, this is the hardest and most expensive part, the foundation, paying for everything that goes into the foundation um, and then laying it out. Because I was starting to get a little bit nervous. I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like every single day um, we're, we have to buy something. And he said, that's like normal. This is the hardest part. And we're almost, we're like halfway there. So he said, once the foundation is done, it goes up really quick. And that's so exciting, you guys. Uh oh, look at her. She is such a little stinker. I get under this blue wire. Um, I'm gonna go get the kids right now though, and then we are gonna head out. I do my BB. We are gonna head out to um, Ocotlan. And we have a couple more things to buy out there, I think for the house, some cement maybe. So let's go get the kids and let's head out there. This is the only speaker we have out here right now, you guys. <laughs> Plays the radio all day. Now, at first, we didn't have the big dogs out, um, but we, like, slowly introduced them to the workers. Oh, I keep trying to get a fly. And they really love the workers now. They've done so well with them, so that makes me happy. But Chica's soaking wet because she just plays at the hose all day.
Okay, so I just grabbed Annabelle from school and she has <laughs> she has the recuerdos. Is that what they're called? The little um Okay. Keepsakes. That's what they would be called. Um for the quince that she's in. Ready pumpkin. Peepee's tired from school. <laughs> Come on. All right, so I'll show you guys what's inside this box when we get home. But um, we have to put little like gift tags on them, and then <laughs> okay, I would have held it, but Annabelle insisted she wanted to hold it. Good thing we brought the truck right now. Um, but we have to bring those the day of the quince, and then tomorrow we are heading out to Arandas to get her dress. Are you excited? Yeah, the pink one. The pink one? Oh, I I don't know if they're pink or not, honey. We're gonna have to see. right now and we are heading out to grab the cement and then I forgot but Annabelle has a PJ Mada is that how you say it? PJ Mada where she wears her pajamas for a birthday party um so we have to pick up a little gift for her friend as well oh that would be perfect no it's just it's just in the evening but it's not for the whole night bud to the cement place and my husband is gonna get out real quick and I think they're just gonna put it in the back of the car hon um, well, I gotta see cause they can only load like half a ton so. okay but in the back of the car yeah. okay so hopefully they're gonna load half a ton of cement into the back of the truck and then um, probably another half a ton maybe later in the week now we had to come get the cement because they were supposed to deliver it and they just got way too busy and we're running out of cement, so we had to come and grab it. That should take him just a minute, though. Why do they have so much cement? That's what they sell, pumpkin. They have a lot of stuff, dirt, tanks, bricks. Hey, mm. Okay, Annabelle had to grab the box before the cement gets in there. Guys, these are what was in the box and they're um, long scarves and the material feels so soft. These are what I'm gonna and then we bought yeah. all of these for yeah, the quince yeah, because yeah, um, yeah. we are yeah, madrinas. I'm a madrina. You're the madrina. I kind of am too, but you're like part of the... I don't know how it works. <laughs> These are really beautiful. There's a bunch of different colors. You guys, the back is loaded. Um, now we are just heading to a little store to grab a gift for Annabelle's friend for her birthday. And right here, you guys, is the, um, it's like a mini airport, but all the airplanes that fly, they're called like dust croppers, aren't they? They're called dust croppers. Croppers, I don't know what they're called in Spanish, but they go over all the fields and fertilize them. This one? Okay. little face mask they don't have the princess ones um though you pick a little um hair clip oh those purple ones are pretty this one's pretty for her this one's pretty this one i want this one for her that one's really pretty this one up there too this one's mine okay okay it's all done no no 
Um, pesos. <laughs> you guys, look at how pretty. We came into the shop next door. Look how cute those balloons are. They're a little bit expensive, pumpkin, but we did get her the pretty box with a bunch of little cosas to put inside. Gracias. Are you coming, girls? Guys, we got what we needed for her friend's um, birthday. We bought a little box with a couple of cute things to put inside of it. So we're gonna get back home, unload this cement, and then Annabelle's gonna get her pajamas on for the pajama party. Um, the little girls are gonna change out of their uniforms and I'm gonna get Annabelle ready for her little fiesta And I'm not sure if they're gonna pick her up or if we're gonna be walking her to um, her friend's house Oh, she's gonna come get you Okay, and she wants to show you guys real quick on um, what she bought for her friend and right after that She's gonna get ready into her pajamas and I'm gonna do her hair and get her real cute We got a beautiful bag that says and when you open it, she has really long hair. Like very long, long beautiful so hair. So we got her like a really pretty brush. And she likes cute. mermaids, so we thought yeah. that was and so cute. And she has like a lot of energy. So like <laughs> Does she? Okay, and last time she was at our house, did she love this little lip gloss? I had, I had like a pink one, and she loved it so much. She's like, oh, where'd you buy this from? And then I buy her this. We got some clips for her. These like cute I said, little she clips. Has really long hair. Very really long cute. hair. And then we got these for her hair. The little girls these, here love putting these pearls things, in the hair. These things are, this thing is really cool, but I need to get open it. Yeah, it looks like an avocado, you guys, but it's lip gloss. Isn't that so cute? And then we got her one more thing. Her mom does nails, and um, she's always doing her daughter's nails. So Annabelle picked out these cute little ones. They're Perfect. Like nail polish, but when you put them on, it sticks to them. All right, girls. All right, guys, kids are back inside. They're upset because they tore down Chaos Mountain, but I did make some soap by they're going to eat right now. That'll make them feel better. They did have your best memories. They had your best memories, Pumpkin. Oh, baby. Don't worry. There might be, they might make more dirt mountains. Like, who likes small mountains? Am I right? You're right. Oh, all right, the kids all have their bowls, so I'm gonna make mine real quick. Oh my goodness, you guys, it smells so Can good. They will destroy our whatever it's called. Oh, we forgot. Mountain. <laughs> and then we have some tostadas. chips, tostadas, and limons. Is that your wow, you really load up. Oh, I load up my mm -hmm. soup. If I had queso de mesa, it would already be on here. For you too, or no? <laughs> you missed it. I missed it. You... All right, you guys. Mm. Oh, my God. All right, you guys, soup is done. Um, And the kids, I turned on a little TV show for them because I'm going to do Annabelle's hair for the birthday party. Put it in pigtail and then curls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the pigtail. Here's, here's the pony that I want. Oh my god. Now we're doing more of the pigtails. No, no, no. No. Okay. Do you all, can we put in bows? Yeah, I don't know if we have two little bows though. Half a dime. But I'm just using um, the straightener mm -hmm. to. Mm. Um. And mom's using the strainer to give like curls, like big puff curls. Puff puff curls. Annabelle's hair is done and I just packed her little mochila for her friend's house. Now they are going to have a little pajama party but she's not staying the night. I'm going to go pick her up in just a little bit. 
Hey guys, the little girls are playing in the back. Um, but I do want to tell you something uh, that is a little bit different about Mexico, especially in our rancho. Kids do not have sleepovers. That um, is not a thing. And I wouldn't let my little girls do sleepovers anyways. But that is also just not a thing here. Nobody does them. Um, um, everybody picks up their kids right after the fiesta. And I wanted to show you how cute she picked her hairstyle. Let me see. Did I do a good job? Yeah. It's like, um, it's like honey. We only had to redo it. Two or three times. Oh my! Yeah, because I'm like, oh my god, And let me see your cute little backpack. Oh, so cute! And then bestest okay. friend Penelope is going on a walk with me, and then we will come pick you up in just a little bit. Deal? Hey okay, guys, I'm actually gonna walk Annabelle over to her friend's house because I thought her mom was gonna pick her up, but maybe I misread the message. <laughs> so I'm going to walk over there and see real quick. Oh my goodness, you guys, the sunset's so beautiful. Can we get some ice cream? Come on. She might be at Doctrina. Oh, she might be at Doctrina. You're right. Let's go up there and see. Okay. Because if she's there, I'm going to have to tell her. All right, Annabelle's friend's mom came and picked her up and so it's just me and Penelope for a walk and it's so funny you guys because when my husband was in the United States all the kids always walked with me and now that he's back home only certain ones want to go some want to stay home with him um, and then some want to go so at least at, I always have one person with me and then Cristiano is at the plaza because they do this thing called Doctrina and Cristiano doesn't do it, but all of his friends do, so they all meet up at the plaza at night. He was having so much fun. As fun as you, or no? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so beautiful, isn't it? <gasps> it's lighting up because the sun behind it is hitting it. <laughs> oh my goodness, Penelope has so much energy. She can run this whole walk. <laughs> <laughs> Penelope just said to me, Mom, am I wearing any red? Because sometimes when we go for these walks, you see a toro, which is a bull. And if you see a bull, you turn around. So most of the time it's just cows out on like female cows. Yeah, but Mom is wearing red. I am wearing a little red. But if you do see a bull, you turn around. And I was walking with one of my family friends out here when I first moved to Mexico. And we were walking more towards the mountain area, and she turned around. She was ahead of me, and she said, Toro, Toro, and started, like, running back. And at the time, I didn't know what Toro meant, but now I do. So if you ever see a Toro, toro. you turn around. You said, Lola, <laughs> Toro. It is very cute. I hope one day, you guys, I'm riding my horse down these roads. I don't know why I've been thinking about it a lot more lately. Maybe, maybe soon we'll be bringing one home, I hope. Yes or no? I want a, I want a mini pony. Oh, you need a I mini need pony. I'll tell you baby Amanda. Swear it. Peepee's old plan. Okay, Peepee's a little mad because you guys can see it's getting a little bit dark and we stayed at her friend's house to play for a minute and she did not want to leave. Come on, it's getting, stay for two minutes. It's getting dark already. There's the house I like you guys. It looks so pretty with the clouds in the back. You guys, I was just talking to you about the um, cows in the road and we just ran into one. Perfectly matched socks. I don't know how they do it, peepee. -pee. And it's getting dark and the sun's going down. So pretty. And we just passed a rogue cow. <laughs> but do you get do you get nervous walking in the dark or do you feel okay? Alright, we gotta hurry back because it is starting to get a little bit dark and you can see we do have um, electricity lines, but there is not street lights everywhere in the ranch. <laughs> so if you get stuck in the dark, you gotta really get yourself back home quick. 
getting this one. This used to be bumpy. Yeah, right? I think there was a fence here. I think they took it down because it looks so empty, and I swear it didn't always look like that. All right, you guys, we are almost back to the plaza. I'm going to see if Cristiano is still hanging out with his friends over there. And if he is, Penelope has so much energy. That little stinker is probably going to play for a little bit. Buenas noches. Are you guys, here goes the pond truck. And in the back of that truck, she has conches y todo. All the pond you could want. And she's getting to the end of it, so there's probably not very much left. This is one of our favorite taco stands, and they're just starting to open up. Can you smell them, Pee Pee? Maybe we can convince Daddy to bring us out here tonight. And they are also selling churros right here. And you can see that there's just a lot of people out just enjoying the night, you guys. The whole community. And the whole plaza is full, but where is Cristiano, Pee Pee? There's cotton candy! There's cotton candy! I think he's over there playing. Oh yeah, I see him. He's in the green shirt. Wow, you guys, look at that cloud over the sky right there. It's so beautiful. And Cristiano's right over there. You can see him in the green shirt playing with his friends. He's been out here for hours now. So me and Penelope are going to rest here at the plaza for a little bit. Penelope might get some french fries. We're going to try to convince brother to walk her over there real quick. Guys, we are back home. And I went and grabbed some papas for Pee, Pee And I grabbed some for Cristiano. But I'm going to have a bite real quick. I swear to you guys, these are better than McDonald's fries. They are so, so good. And the lady who makes them puts her special chile sauce on them. All right, one more bite, and then I have to save the rest for Cristiano. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today was day one of five days of getting ready with me. Everybody have a really good, blessed night. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe.